Hey friends, welcome to The Good Life with Michelle Lamoureux, a show for women in midlife who want to live happier, healthier, and more meaningful lives. I'm your host, Michelle Lamoureux, a self-love coach and the author of Design a Life You Love, and together we're going to be doing just that. Each week, I bring on world-class experts, best-selling authors, leading entrepreneurs, and also do solo casts with the intention of inviting you to get connected to what you really desire from your life. This show is produced with love every week. There's inspiration and actionable tips in every episode because I want to see women playing a starring role in their lives instead of living on the sidelines. Be sure to join the Good Life Community newsletter over at thegoodlifecoach.com for more inspiration and tips to live your best midlife. And make sure you're following the show on your favorite podcast player. I'm so glad that you're here. Hey friends, it's Michelle Lemereau, and this is a solo cast today. It's actually a remake of an episode I did a few years ago based on a blog post I wrote called uh, What I Would Tell My 20-Something Self, A Love Letter. And I'm going to take you through my top 10 things that I would tell my 20-something-year-old self, um, which you can read and share with um, a daughter going off to college or entering the world of work, getting out in the world. And truthfully, what I realized when I reread this top 10 list is that I would actually give myself the same advice at my age at 52. So this is basically a top 10 list of um, a roadmap of how to make life's journey a little smoother. And here it goes. Here's my top 10 list. Number one, love yourself. This is the key to everything good in your life. It may sound oversimplistic, but the actual practice of self-love is a lifetime practice. You came from love and are an expression of love. So remember to be loving to yourself every day, no matter what. Promise? When those inner voices come in with doubt to tell you that you are not enough, tell them firmly they are mistaken. You are worthy of a magnificent, healthy, and abundant life. When you know that to be true, you only allow what's in your highest good to come into your life. That's what we all deserve. Number two, make pleasure a priority. Pursue the things that light you up. Don't put your passions and interests to the side. They are your roadmap to happiness. You deserve to be happy and only you know how to make that happen. So make it happen. Don't get distracted by other people's agendas or how they want you to spend your time. Number three, stand firmly in who you are like a wise old tree with deep with its deep roots. The world will always have an opinion about what you should be and how you should see yourself. So remember, this is your one shot at life and you do not have time to waste people pleasing and playing small. Number four, don't settle for a partner who doesn't honor you. When you are in a relationship, it isn't a daily roller coaster ride. You don't have to question whether the one you love is committed to the relationship because you just know. It doesn't mean that you don't have work to have to work on your relationship. All great love requires communication and commitment. It does mean that if your partner isn't treating you with respect that you deserve, then it's time to move on. Great love does exist. This goes for friendships too. Let go of the toxic people in your life and surround yourself with a tribe of people who love you as you are. Number five, life has its seasons. Sometimes we're in a season where everything flows and other times it's as if the universe wants to see how much you can handle. Ride the waves with grace, knowing there will always be a peaceful shore ready to greet you in time. So keep the faith. Number six, find joy in the little things. Look for the humor in life and laugh every day, just like when you were a little girl. Let your inner child illuminate your path. Number seven, don't be afraid to ask for help. At times we need a helping hand and it takes strength to admit when we don't have the answers and need guidance or a shoulder to lean on. Number eight, 
Remember that you are here for a special reason. You have unique gifts that you are meant to share. You are living your purpose when you use those special talents in a way that brings you joy. There are no rules about how to express your gifts. Think about being in service and how you can help and doors will open. Pursue what's whispering in your heart. You want to look back on your life and think, yes, I lived an awesome life. Number nine, don't wait for permission to go for your dreams and desires. Most people don't understand the vision you have for your life. So you have to trust in yourself and your inner knowing and take that first step. Dream big and often. It feels like you have all of the time in the world, but you don't. Make your dreams a priority and take inspired action every day. You'll thank me for this one later. And number 10, appreciate your beauty. Be grateful for your youth, your skin, your body, and your mind. Treat your body with respect and nourish it. When you look back, you'll realize just how beautiful you were. So don't wait 20 years to recognize the goddess that you are today. Enjoy each day, stay present, and be grateful for this gift of life and the gift of you. XOXO from your 40-something self. And I'm recording it as a 50-something self. And the advice still stands. And like I said, this is advice that I would give to myself today. I'm sure there's things that you might add to this list. And I would say add whatever your heart is telling you is the way to go. But I hope that you find it helpful. And like I said, share it. Share it with someone younger. Sometimes younger people don't want to hear it from their parents, but they're open to hearing it from someone else. And I've definitely made enough mistakes in my life to have clarity on what I wish I knew and what I would do different. So I hope you enjoyed this solo cast today and I'll be back with you on August 1st. Be well. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope you gained some new information or inspiration for your life. That is that the essence of this show is to really wake up to what's possible for you to reclaim your beautiful voice and to really learn to love and prioritize yourself. So if you gained any value from any of the conversations you've tuned into, make sure to subscribe on your favorite podcast player. You can do that right now on your phone. And please do consider leaving a rating and review if you have yet to do so on Apple Podcasts. It's actually how more women can find the show. And I really want to grow a community of women who are loving themselves and living full on. So thank you as always for tuning in. And I look forward to reconnecting with you next Wednesday. Bye for now. Mm-hmm.